Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler and this More League Girls Flag Football video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of our flag football coverage this season is sponsored by the Los Angeles Chargers and all of our coverage of Long Beach Poly is sponsored by Bryson Financial. Thank you to our sponsors and welcome to the Battle of the Ave. Jordan visiting Long Beach Poly here in an important More League showdown. The Jackrabbits Undefeated so far this season, Jordan's only loss against Polly. So if J-Town wins here, it is a shared Moore League championship. Great job by head coach AJ Luke and Sherrod Moore leading this Jordan team. Meanwhile, Stephen Barbie and assistant Luke Bugs coaching up a vaunted Polly defense on the other side. But the Panthers offense on its first drive, Caitlin Garcia hits Amberly Reyes for a nice game as they were able to move it. And then Garcia, looking deep, drops it in for Liliana Sarmiento, who's almost takes it to the house. She's ruled down inside the poly five. The Panthers bouncing around. They thought that was a touchdown and um, ultimately a very important stop there for Polly because Jordan unable to break through on fourth and goal. This pass is gonna fall incomplete. So J-Town gets the big play, but no points. Going the other way, Aya McLinn going McLong for Janelle Morris. A huge gain flipping the field into the Jordan red zone. Morris is like, yeah, we go in that way. Then McLean going to use her feet. She did that really well in this game. She's going to be taken down right at the one yard line. Now on fourth and goal, McLean flicks it out to Neela Bagley. Nice catch in the flat, and she takes it in for the score. Polly takes the 7 nothing lead. Then when Polly gets it back, they go back to work with Tiare Ho Ching. That will move the sticks. Yeah, 18, always a key target for McLean in this Jackrabbit offense. The Jordan defense, though, stepping in to make plays. Garcia with the pass break up there. A little QB on QB crime. Then later in the drive, McLean goes all Gregory Hines in the backfield. She's just so elusive with the tap dancing. Almost caught for a touchdown, then almost picked off. So kind of a wild play there. Then McLean decides to call her own number, and that's a good idea as one scoots in for the score. That'll make it 13-0 Polly midway through the first half. And now just before halftime, Jordan driving with Asia Edwards fueling it, first through the air and then on the ground. Either way, she gets the football. 13 is a playmaker. We've seen that all season long. But mention that Polly defense is tough. Anise Becker with a great pull in the open field as they began to key in on Edwards on that drive. Then on the deep ball, it's Cheyenne Clark who steps in for the interception for Polly, bringing it back the other way. So J-Town again unable to score on that drive as the Jackrabbits go into halftime with that 13-0 advantage. The Jackrabbits also got the ball first and they would drive quickly. Out it goes to Bagley for a nice gain in the flat. She's down inside the 10. Then it's McGlynn swerving and leaning. She's got to be the limbo champion in her family as she bends her way in for another rushing touchdown. Polly's up now 20 to nothing, and they can taste that more league championship at this point. Next Polly drive, she loads up the cannon. Screw it, Dominique Wheeler's down there somewhere, and she calls it in. A great catch by the freshman with plenty of defenders around her but she was able to high point the ball and make the catch. She also caught the two point conversion. It's Polly's up 28, nothing, but J town did not roll over in this one. Michael lemons, nice play to step in front for the pass breakup. Then Edwards again with the catch and she'll take it inside Polly's red zone. Another good gain for one three, but the Panthers could not cash in those drives. Story of the day, Leah solace wants her team to get donuts as she gets the interception in the end zone. Speaking of interceptions, I pulled up with a lemon, Micah that is, as she steps in and catches that one for the INT, but too little too late for J-Town. This game belonged to Long Beach Poly. Head coach Rob Schock, you're not going anywhere. It's bath time. <laughs> He's going to get the celebratory shower there. Uh, not sure if his daughter Dylan's going to get grounded for that, but I would say it was worth it as Polly wins the first ever Moore League Championship in girls flag football. Congratulations to Coach Schock and the Green and Gold uh, for their tremendous effort this season. 28-0 is the final. Polly on Wednesday, they host Cabrillo looking to finish off an unbeaten league season. Meanwhile, Jordan is at Lakewood as the second place team. It's been a lot of fun covering flag football here in the Moore League. Excited to have some playoffs hopefully next season in CIF. And if you want coverage of all Long Beach sports, you got to stay tuned right here to the 562.org.